guys, it's Tilly, you know, that girl who uh, isn't buying any books this year, who thought that with every month that goes by, she would get, you know, more books on her red side and less on her TBR side. And it is uh, the end of January, the start of February, and I have somehow managed to compile a list of 14 books this month. I honestly did not think that I'd be doing any more book haul videos. I thought that maybe I'd mention like a few books that I managed to like treat myself to with my gift vouchers or like book subscription boxes or anything like that. I think that a lot of book subscription services and publishers and authors are preying on the weak-minded me and are giving me extra books because somehow like I, I don't know how this happens. I am officially gonna die under a TBR pile and this is like the best problem that anyone can have. And I'm not saying this in like a complaining way at all, like damn, I am so lucky and happy. Also real quick, I wanna apologize for that random beeping sound inside my house. It is some stupid alarm system that has been installed in the house and if someone moves around, or animal moves around, it just beeps. So if you guys hear it, I try to edit it out, but sometimes I just can't. Like I said in my news resolution video, I'm not buying any books, but I do have gift vouchers for bookstores that I can use. So I have used a bit of it so far because these are anticipated reads that I'm really excited for. First up we have Frostblood by Ellie Blake. I've heard a lot about this and I'm kind of hoping it'll be good. I've actually started to hear a lot of mixed reviews now, so I'm kind of like totally unsure if it was a good decision to buy it or not. But if you guys have read this book, please let me know what it's like. So you have Ruby who is a fireball and everything in her life is taken away from her when Frostblood soldiers attack her village. So she decides to avenge her family and her people by going into the heart of the Frost Kingdom and trying to take down the king. But unfortunately she finds that there is a rebel soldier who she might have a slight crush on and she has to make the decision. If she does choose to kill the Frost King, she will lose everything. And does she want to lose everything? <laughs> Next up we have Allegedly. This is a novel by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've also heard plenty of good things about this. And you guys can kind of assume I've heard good things about all these books. Because that's why I have them. So in this book you have Mary who is a young black child. And she's convicted of killing a white baby. And so she goes to pretty much baby jail. And then when she does get out of baby jail. She goes straight into a state home. And she doesn't really find there's any need to tell the people that she didn't do it. She did not commit this crime. But she feels the need to defend herself. Until Mary has a boyfriend and she finds that she's also pregnant and the state is threatening to take away her child. So she must delve back into this horrible past and all these black and grey areas to tell the truth of what actually happened and to make sure she can keep her own child. Sounds like it's going to be a real heavy book but also really really good so I really hope it is. And lastly if you guys like dystopia reads I definitely recommend picking up A Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton because the second one that Treaded to the Throne has just been released and I'm very very excited for this one. Once again they've gone ahead with that absolutely stunning cover and it's much more bigger than the first book. So I'm very happy with that. So these next ones are all from publishers, authors, and book subscription companies. So first up we have three books from Quarterly. Thank you guys so much for sending me out these books. I am very, very excited to read them. The first one, I have read this first one, and that is The Diabolic by S. Jane Kincaid. This is a really awesomely written fantasy series. In it you have Nemesis, who is a diabolic that is basically an inhumane robot who is actually human, if that makes sense. And she is allocated to look after one girl, and that one girl she will die for, she will kill for, in this case, she will impersonate her to save her from a really dangerous court. And of course, things don't go as planned, and it's very action-packed, and yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And the other two books were Unwise by Neil Shutterman and The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bow. And real quick descriptions of this one, if you guys want to rule in a kingdom, you must give up one of your children as a hostage. So if you do anything wrong, like go to war, for example, your child will be killed in their place. Pretty intense, so you have Greta who goes there, she meets a boy called Elian, and Elian is also a hostage, but he does not like to kind of comply with these rules and so it kind of creates a bit of a plot there. And in Unwind it is a really twisted and thrilling storyline. Basically a child between 13 and 18 their parents can decide if they want to keep the child or they can choose to have them unwound which basically means their organs distributed to other people so that they can create more life. So in this book you have three teenagers, you have Connor who his parents find him is too difficult to control, you have Risa who's a ward of the state and she's not talented enough to be kept alive, and then you have Lev who's a tithe and he's basically just conceived to be unwound. And these three manage to band together and hopefully they can find a way out of this situation. Next up we have four amazing books sent to me by Text Publishing. So these books are all by Robin Klein. They were previously out of print novels and now they've reintroduced them and they've been introduced by several different authors. So first up you have a really really amazing book, it's called Come Back to Show 
you I could fly and this one's introduced by Simone Howell and there is a lot of hype around this book it has been known to be absolutely amazing and I'm very very excited to read it these next three part of the Melling Sisters trilogy and they're all introduced by different people so I'll go through the titles and who they're introduced by so you have all in blue unclouded weather that's introduced by Amy Kaufman dresses of red and gold introduced by Fiona Wood and lastly you have the sky in silver lace introduced by Alex Pung I actually really really love the simplicity of all these covers as well and the yellow stands out so nicely I cannot wait to read these all and have them on my shelves to look absolutely stunning Thank you so much to Tex for sending me those out. I look forward to reading them, so thank you. The next one is Sanctuary's Fiend by A. Lynch. The author sent me this book, so thank you for sending me that. I cannot wait to get around to reading it. So Rel is a 16-year-old high school student. She wants to be normal, except that her best friend is a siren, a girl who came into her school as a ghost, and her adopted parents are succubies. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And the rest of the sanctuary is pretty much filled with these kind of people. But Rel is trying to be really normal when all of a sudden she has an unset case of vampirism, and we're going to have to pretty much figure out how the story is going to go on from there. So the third last book that I got this month, this one came in the Owl Crate box and I really really am very excited to read it. It is actually a stunning book with not only red writing and like amazing pages like that but it's also hardcover. So that one is Rosebud by AJ Howard and once again thank you so much to Owl Crate for sending me this one out. I cannot wait to start this book. So this one is a Phantom of the Opera inspired retelling so you just know it's going to be really good and hopefully filled with horror and twists and a lot of amazing stuff that we like to read. And lastly these next two books came in the YA Chronicles for this month. It was one fantastic box and I still am so in love with all the items that I got and these two books as well. So the first one is the Penguin Teen Super Proof for 2017. So I think this is about 14 different extracts from amazing YA authors. Don't hold me on how many is actually in there but yeah it's bound to be great. It's a wonderful bind up of many good books to come out in 2017. And lastly for one of the books that are on my most anticipated reads, A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. In this book you have Henrietta Howell who is the first female sorcerer in ages and she's offered to go and train to be one of Her Majesty's sorcerers. But at this school where she's going to train it is just young attractive men that I bet will be damn irresistible. And these guys are apparently trying to test her power or her heart. So in here it says one will challenge her, one will fight for her and one will betray her. Who needs a love triangle so you can have a love square? So there you guys have my book haul. I don't know how it happened, but I think I got more books than I would on a regular month if I was actually spending money on them as well. Once again, thank you to everyone who sent me books. There'll be links to all of the box subscription boxes and publishers and authors and Goodread links and links to videos where I have mentioned these books, like reviews or anything like that as well. And that's a lot to put down in the links. I'm probably going to forget about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. You. Hey guys, it's Tilly and... Huh.